Tonight we're going to road test the Irish Draft Horse, one of the most sound breeds of horse in the world. But you might say, so what? What do you want a draft horse for? You're not going to pull a wagon. Well, the Irish Draft Horse is used to produce the Irish Sport Horse, which is a hybrid between the Irish Draft Horse and the Race Horse or Thoroughbred. And these are one of the world's great athletes of the horse world. Just have a look at this creature. Robust, fluid, balanced, and of course, an enormous amount of fun if you're a horse rider. It originated in Ireland and it was an all-purpose horse used by the Irish farmer. He might have been pulling a light plough, taking the trap to church, going hunting during the week. and he had to be sound 365 days of the year. They couldn't afford to have two horses, most of the farmers, they are fairly poor, so he had to be used all the time. And as a result of that, uh, he evolved to what he is today, and that is the foundation of some of the best competition horses that we have. This particular bloke is obviously very well performed. He's currently the Victorian show jumping champion and um, just recently we earned the right to represent Australia at Gothenburg at the World Cup finals. Oh, well done. We're hoping the horse will do well because he's a purpose bred horse, he's a very rideable, trainable horse, he's got great temperaments and um, tremendous uh, desire to please. For Australia to become truly competitive in events such as jumping, mm -hmm. clearly we, we must start breeding selected jumping horses. Absolutely. It's very important. Uh, you get the odd horse that goes to the top, but purpose breeding, you've got far more chance of getting that horse. Crudely, what sort of value would this horse represent at the moment? Because he's a stallion, because of his bloodlines, and just because what he's done in Australia, you'd be looking at a horse that's probably worth over, over half a million dollars. Goodness, it's a lot of money. And if he were to win overseas when you go, that could double? It could treble, yeah, for sure. Tess, this is a purebred mare? Yeah, this one here is, has purebred parents, so she's definitely purebred. And how big would she be? She's 17 hands. She, she does look it. Right, well that's because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> how tall are you? I'm 6'2". Six 6'2", two. Six two. so in fact this is a, mm -hmm. quite a, 17 hands is a very big horse. Right, that's why I'm drawn to them. <laughs> The purebred is a very rare, rare horse in Australia. How many? There are uh, about half a dozen purebred stallions and about four purebred mares, so very limited numbers. And the main use of them today is almost like a can of paint to use as a base to mix other things. Absolutely. They, ostensibly the thoroughbred is put into them to breed competition horses, uh, half-breds for show jumping, for pleasure horses uh, and going, putting a half-bred mare to a thoroughbred stallion to produce the really good event type horses. Right. What is it that you're getting from this breed? When you use them for hybridising mm -hmm. like that, what are you trying to get? You're trying to get their temperament, mm -hmm. their bone, they've got great bone, soundness, uh, athleticism, uh, yeah, lots of factors that all go to, to making a great horse. <laughs> 